a popular Texas tourist destination fighting to keep COVID-19 at bay. We're pretty active. Of course, our population is smaller than the, you know, the Austin, San Antonio, Houston, Dallas, some of those, but uh, we've got our hands full. We spoke with Joe McComb, the mayor of Corpus Christi, where he says their area has been seeing a major increase in COVID cases since Memorial Day weekend. They estimated around 100,000 people showed up to their beaches during that time. All of us have been cooped up since, you know, early March or April, and our numbers were so low on, uh, you know, positive tests to the number of tests that we've given. The ratio was down. We were, we were below 3%, and uh, we had that very few cases. And so I think a lot of people just said, you know, from San Antonio, New Braunfels, Austin, hey, let's just go to Corpus, man, they're safe down there. At the start of the week, their county reported more than 200 new cases and eight deaths. Mayor McComb says they're taking steps to deter people from going to the beach by banning vehicles. If you want to go out and get some sun on the sand, you'll have to walk. It gives us no pleasure to do that because we're out always promoting our beaches. We're wonderful and we love people to come down, but right now we're trying to get this coronavirus under control. Further south along the border in Hidalgo County is an area struggling to fight the virus. Well, we find ourselves in a very serious situation because we have a, a very high rate of infection uh, here. Uh, we also are having a, a, a high rate of, of mortality. So we find ourselves uh, really, really in trouble. County Judge Richard Cortez says around the end of May, they went from single digit cases to triple digit. This week, they reported around 550 new cases with more than 30 deaths. The new cases taking a toll on their hospitals. They're at full capacity, pretty much they're at full capacity. Cortez says it's at the point where he is working on issuing another stay-at-home order, even though he knows they legally cannot enforce it. Even if I pass a, a shelter-in-place order that, that cannot be enforced legally, if, if we get 40% compliance, 30% compliance, even 10% compliance, it's better than nothing. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Both areas are currently working with the state to combat the virus, and both areas are hopeful their numbers will go down soon. Stephen Sarabia, Fox 7 Austin News.